Ay, ay, ay. Holding the key of ardor. Return to the bedroom before the guiding light absorbs all of your vitality. Got you. So it's basically gonna sit there and drain my life. And we gotta watch out for that. I guess if I buy a blue orb, I can, uh... Give myself a little bit more health, which will be nice. I like more permanent additions to my character. Rather than the temporary items. Okay. So we just gotta go. We just gotta go as fast as possible and hope not to die. Now here's the problem. I'm pretty sure the Reaper dude just attacks me again. Which will be really rough. Oh my god, it's a spider! They really love this. They really love just going, and then the spider chased you! Ha <laughs> ha! I want to beat him up again, but there's no place for me to really take my cover. But at least now we know why there's health down these hallways. Oh shit! Ow! That's interesting. Okay. So it's not- it wasn't- it wasn't actually the same character from beforehand. This- <laughs> That's- that's really intriguing to me. I'm just trying to figure out my past. That brief instance. So... What basically happened, I guess, is they fought the boss. Wait, what? Secret. Mission, one-eyed evil, lure the Kyclops into their mutual death? What? Oh shit. What does that mean? I can't see. Why this is so awful. Yeah, I really wish I had known what I was getting into. I thought I was leaving the area. I'm not doing this mission. I think that's, uh... I think, I think doing this mission is not my goal. Wait, are we done? Did I kill them both? Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. See, when it said mutual death... Secret mission, you failed. Blah? I- I don't know. I- I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Anyways, so, when I was a kid and I played this very briefly at that random person's house that I don't even fucking remember, it was, it was just literally dragged at some random person's place. I guess they must have beaten the boss. The Goat Skull Reaper boss. And then... Then they gave me the controls back, and then I ran to the hallway with a bunch of the Reapers, and then got worried and died there too. <laughs> that was- that's what that must have been. Intriguing. Only to me, really, but you know, that's fine. God, it's killing flies in real life. Just stay still, you little shit. Yeah, I'm not interested in these, uh, these secret mission things. They probably give you a lot. Like, oh, hey, you get, like, 500 points, but this one in particular, I... I'm anxious because of the fact that I'm constantly losing health, and I'm not trying to do that. Other secret missions, if I'm not sitting there losing health constantly, sure! The brightness of the guiding light will scorch you. Only those who bear the light can open the new path. Use the guiding light. Nice. I am no longer dying. I guess I could have gone back at that point. But I wouldn't leave. I'm fine not, not doing that mission. My goal isn't to become, like, my goal isn't to 100% this game and become the most amazing Devil May Cry 1 player. My goal is to go through the Devil May Cry series and get up to Devil May Cry 5 and just have a... an interesting... interesting retrospective about all of it. 
Ooh, holy shit, I shouldn't have made that jump. Jumped way too early. Mission 8, The Legendary Knight Returns. Activate the mechanism and escape from the rooftop. That sounds awful. What do they mean by Legendary Knight? The Black Knight dude who kicked my ass beforehand? Huh. Um... Um? Can I jump from here? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I, the room looks so tall, I didn't know I could just jump up the walls like that. This looks like a perfect place for a boss fight. Oh, boy. What if I just want to leave? I was getting tired of playing your childish games. <laughs> I was getting pretty annoyed by him chasing us all the time. I really want you to just be dead this time. Alright, let's get some serious damage in right now. I've got my big old devil trigger and I'm right here in your face and I'll just trade damage with you. Oh boy! Ooh, I dodged it! Man, if I knew how to dodge earlier, life would have been so much better. Can I, like, stab him through the heart? Oh! That's good enough. I wasn't expecting to fight the spider this mission. When it said legendary knight. Defeated the phantom. Incredible power. I didn't know he was gonna talk about me. But okay. I'm learning how to handle myself. Defeat a boss. Took a bunch of damage to the face, but I'm dodge I can dodge! I can dodge a little bit. Just a, a little bit. Ooh. Trident, a heavily decorated three-pronged pike that's used for rituals. It cannot be used as a weapon. Damn it, where where are my options here? Oh, you know what? I know where we have to use this. Let's head down. I have to go insert it in that place that talked about three objects. What is this? It's a lever used to wind up the drawbridge. It's heavily rusted. A strong downward force may help move the lever. Alright, so... Yeah! We'll do that. It's the corpse of a soldier who must have wandered into the castle and died from exhaustion. He's holding something. Grenade gun? What? Fires exploding sh uh, shells of shrapnel. Extremely destructive. What? What? 
do I have ammo with this or do I literally I just I just have a grenade launcher now cool yeah. Yeah. All right, I just lowered a bridge in an area that I don't know about, but we'll find it. Oh, hey, this is where we enter the the trident. There are three openings to insert something. Trident! I thought we were gonna have to gather three individual things. That would have been a pretty big pain in the ass. I see. Okay. So this is a time-based thing. Gotcha. Let's, let's set this reset, because I didn't know it was going to do this. I was very confused as to what the fuck that was trying to do. Okay. Shall I use the trident again? Yes. Now here's the problem. I don't actually... Uh, oh boy. You gotta go down. I don't know where I'm going, I just gotta rush! Somewhere down here! Aha! I made it! Is there a lever for me to permanently keep this open? I guess I don't need it, we just gotta go. Mission clear. Where'd we... Screw it. Screw the secret mission. We're moving on. Mission 9. New strength. Use the new strength to open the door. That sounds interesting. Am I getting a new power? Maybe I should hold off. I could buy another purple orb if I want to go crazy with my stuff, which I don't really want to. I kind of want to buy... Air Hike? Because then I can get double jumps in the air, which sounds pretty nice. Having movement options is good. Stinger level 2 might be okay as well, but let's see what this new strength thing is. Because maybe I want to throw points into that first. <laughs> I'm just running around with a grenade launcher. Okay. Well, I don't want to go back right now anyways. Even though there might be a few areas that I can investigate. There's a message carved in the stone. It seems to be a story of some kind. Destiny awaits somewhere deep in the Colosseum. Well, that's it. You know, when you say story, I'm, I'm prepared for a little bit more than basically a sentence. But okay. Destiny awaits. Colosseum. So let's go fight Destiny. Or make our own Destiny. That's what we're all about. Um, oh shit, they've got armor! New enemy types! Ow, oh, I tried to dodge, it didn't work. I wonder what a devil trigger grenade launcher shot would be like. BAM! The answer is, okay. The combat music's still going. Okay, it's fading out, but it's got me a little bit worried. There's an emblem of a shield on the door that glows with red light. Okay, well, I definitely don't think I can open that just yet. There's a decoration resembling two knights. It appears, it appears as though the knights should be holding something. 
Words are carved beneath the decoration. The shields that glow with light and a pair of lances shall lead to the battleground. Ah. So I gotta do something about these shields. And also find a lance? There's a lot that that could happen here. I still haven't used a taunt in the battle. I don't know if it's actually worth it. I think it powers up the enemies. So that way you can like kind of get maximum style points. Hello? Is this the Coliseum? Kind of looks like a Coliseum. Hmm. I just want to see if my grenade launcher can do anything to the door. Or the switch, I guess, would be the better way to call it. Ooh, another yellow er or orb, not herb. Wrong old school game brought to the future with remasters. I mean, let's see what this does. Cool. We've got some platforming to worry about. Oh boy. I'm gonna hope that this doesn't like deactivate over time. Oh, you know what? Nope, it's not gonna do that because this is this is gonna be torturous. Okay, seriously. Up the wall, Dante. That's all I want. I also want to see what the heck this is. Oh, De Devil Star. I don't know if I'll ever use that, honestly. I'm too stingy with using items that can be given away, so I'm always gonna be sitting there like, Man, I need to use this at the perfect moment. And then I'll forget about the item. And then I'll be like, oh shit, I could have used it there. Such as, in the middle of a boss fight. But I'm not worried about it. Oh, oh, I almost didn't make that. Alright, there's an inscription on the base. My name is Ifrit. The fool who awakens me shall pay dearly with the fires of hell. Uh, can I choose to take the punishment? Oh boy. Yeah, sure, I'll take these gloves. Cool, a flaming gauntlet that gives the possessor increased powers. So we've got a new weapon. But more than likely, I can't equip it in the middle of battle. I have to swap it in the middle of uh, everything else. Well, I'll try it out. It's our new weapon, new strength. Oh boy. Currently, not as cool as just swinging a sword around, but it has potential. We'll- we'll give it a chance. I've just never really been a massive fan of gauntlet-type weapons. I like swinging my sword around. Oh! Jesus, I guess that's the guardian of this section, huh? You Hi. Are you the human? The son of Sparta who challenges the darkness for this. Block off, Featherface, or you can stick around and find out the hard way. I would that say that no no response, just okay, sure. We're gonna fight now. Oh boy. Whew.
Hey, why don't you try and fight me on the ground, birdface? I didn't mean it. I really, I didn't, I really didn't mean it. Please go away. I am not using the weapon that lets me attack in the air. But I will, however, imbue my weapon with fire damage. Ow. So I can do as much damage as possible to your face. Oh boy. Ah, I gotta back off. Whoa, jump! Whoa, jump! Oh, dog ah, shit! I should've just stayed on the ground at that point. Nice bait, though, dude. Get the fuck out of here! Before he, like, slams down on the ground on me. Oh, boy. I dodged through it! Nice! Wah! Whoa. Oh, I didn't dodge through that that time. I thought maybe I would get invincibility frames. Wrong! Oh, boy! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting him. I really- I was- I wanted to try, like, punching him in the face. I don't think it's gonna be an option for us. Yeah, you better skedaddle on out of here. Bird for Brains thinks he can handle the son of Sparta? Yeah, well, maybe later. Maybe, maybe later, but not currently. Punch! Cool, figured that. One fire, I, one fire's lit, one's not. Gotta be what's going on. I don't like the look of this place. So, what are my air attacks here? My air options are literally like, go in the air and then throw yourself back at the ground. Maybe, maybe other attacks will be better. Hey guys! Oh, you've got a buddy! Is he a puppet master? What's going on with him? Oh, he's got fire sticks! And breathes fire out of his mouth! That sounds terrible! Here, I'm just gonna blow up the entire group. I don't need to see them, I've got a grenade launcher. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, I don't need to see the carnage, it's too violent for our young eyes. <laughs> he just fall out of the sky. Okay, what what what's going on over here? Ooh, that's not good. He has a reflection attack. You can reflect a grenade into your own face, buddy. That that's how I feel about that. I'll learn how to deal with those guys later. But grenades seem to do the job, so I'm not. I'm not fretting about it. Okay. So the door's open now. We didn't get blocked off. But that has me worried about what I'm gonna find inside. Oh, hey. Alright. Time thing. Ifrit. Charge power and release it in the form of a magma uppercut. Kick 13 level 1. A quick but powerful flaming... Uh, back roundhouse kick. Its impact will drive the enemy back. Rolling blaze. Surround the body in flame and damage enemies upon contact. That sounds cool. Meteor level one. Shoot fireballs from the fist. Inferno. Create a wall of uh, fire and burn everything within range. Okay, well, these are obviously like fucking end game kind of abilities uh, with rolling blaze and inferno. Magma drive sounds interesting. I don't know. I just instead of that, we could like grab another boost for Alistair and just sort up everything. What's the point of driving an enemy into the air if my attack 
if I can't attack in the air consistently. And then this one knocks the enemies back, which I don't really want. It just, just these just don't jive with my what I want from the game currently. Okay. Oh, air hike is four thousand. Shit. I'm doing round trip. That's the weird ass decision I'm making today. We're going back to Alistair. Because I'm a stickler. Okay. Hold down Y. The longer the hold, the longer the distance. Cool. So I can be like. Whoa! Cool. That might actually be able to like stun lock enemies. And then you know, oh god, the fire! So yeah, that can stun lock the enemies, it just uh, leads into a bad scenario where I don't have a weapon now. Yeah, grenade launchers, friends. That's what I'm about. Excuse me, I'm gonna grab these orbs. Can they not shoot the fire downwards? That's an interesting quirk. Oh boy. Yikes! Double fire! Ah, whoa! That's really creepy. Another the yellow orb. We're accumulating these things, but that just means we're gonna run to a section that's gonna kick our ass again. I feel it. Oh, I fucking didn't know there was a second guy there. I think we're done. <laughs> I think they're dead. Cool. Now what is this about? You use 200 red orb- WHAT?! I didn't- <laughs> What?! I didn't even know that was gonna be a thing! Shit. I should've saw- I like, I saw the door was red, but I didn't put two and two together that this is a door I have to offer orbs to. Ugh. Fine, I was gonna have to go in there anyways. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like when I can just keep a combo going. And the Ifrit doesn't seem like that. It just it, It's one of those weapons that's like, Your weapon's really powerful! Punch! 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 And then you just kind of have to... You have a good time with it. I'm sure it's a good weapon. I want to try it out more in the future. I just really want to try out other stuff, like Boomerang. That seems like it'll be a really fun thing to have when I don't have an enemy that will retaliate with fire. 